G'day viewers, it's Scotty here. I'm here in Ringwood North for the Australia Day barbecue with other Liberal Party members. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's roll the intro. Welcome to another Scotty video. Please like and share. Hope you enjoy. Happy Australia Day, a great day. Happy Australia Day to everyone celebrating the day. Happy Australia Day. So Gino, why is Australia, impo Australia Day important to you? Australia Day marks the day that we recognise a unified nation. As a son of an aspirational immigrant, um, it has become the day when I go out and I put a sausage on the barbie, we open up and have a beer and we sit around with friends and we appreciate what a wonderful country we have. And that's something we should never take for granted. Happy Australia, Happy Australia Day. Day! Happy Australia Day! Hello, happy Australia Day, my favourite day of the year. All my fellow Australians and fellow Liberal people, members, just a very, very happy Australia Day to you all. Happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day. Hey, do it again. Happy Australia Day. Australia Day. <laughs> what? Happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day. Ah, oh, yeah. Happy Australia Day. Good day, everyone. Have a great day. Do it again. Happy Australia Day. Perfect. Do it again. Happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day. <laughs> What I'm going to do too is kind of hand over to Michael. He asked if he could say a few words to rally the troops. So, can we have a hand for our state president? Jan, thank you very much indeed. And it's great to be here. Um, uh, Croydon South Branch started what was going to be a little function uh, on Australia Day. As we know, Senator Ryan has a function on. Um, Normally on this day, but it's going to be up. It's going to be, it is on the Sunday uh, for those that are going to that. So the idea was the Court and South Branch have a little function, and it uh, seems to have grown a bit. So thank you to all of those who've come along today, and hopefully this will be an annual uh, event like Scotty's barbecue uh, on this side of the on this side of the river, and get bigger and better every year. So thank you to everyone who's been involved. Thank you to those that have come long distances, some from Bendigo, some from Ballarat. Uh, and other places, so it's great, uh, great to have everybody here. Uh, to Karina Rockatello, our Federal and State Vice President, to Marcus uh, Bastian and Paul Mitchell, members of admin, to Andrew Aston, who's the head of the um, a great group we have of Future Leaders Program, and Andrew's done a great job. Uh, to Jan, um, one and all, yes, in a particular um, welcome and thanks for what they've done so far to John Shrink in Monbulk and Juno Potenza in Essendon. Uh, can you two guys stand once more? Um, because these guys will be members of Parliament after the election. So John, you know, thank you very much for the contribution you've made uh, to date. Uh, there are so many Australia Day functions on around the state uh, by various Liberal Party groups and community organisations, so we do greatly appreciate you being here today. We are here uh, to celebrate this great day. Uh, no matter how you describe it, uh, the coming together of two cultures, the founding of the great Australian democracy, whichever way you look at it. Uh, this country has grown from 1788 to probably be the best democracy in the world. And that is worth celebrating. That is worth celebrating. It is not a day to be um, criticised or uh, the date to be considered one which will be changed even. And I just was looking at the Herald Sun before, which is why I paused for a minute, to read to you what was said by some disgusting people at the Melbourne CBD Australia Day protest rally today. These people, by the way, are the same people that always demonstrate about Aboriginal land rights. Uh, the next week they'll be demonstrating for the Republic. Uh, the next day, Australia Day, um, um, vegetarian foods or whatever it is. Change um, the flag. Change the flag, <laughs> yes. Next week they'll be changing the same group, another big crowd. No, it's the same people. Different slogans, same people. 
So an Aboriginal elder, Tony Birch, who, who I don't know, and I presume a good man, but he told several thousand people gathered in Spring Street that Australia was not mature enough to celebrate on any day, not just this day. He said this country does not deserve a day of national celebration in any capacity. Well, Tony needs to get out more. <laughs> Tony needs to travel the world. But that was only the silver medal performance. This, this, this fascist, objectionable individual, Tarnine Onus Williams, this sort of unreconstructed trot, <laughs> told the crowd, she's the organiser of this rally, right? This, this, this retrobate organised this rally. She said, quote, F-U-C-K Australia. Hope it burns to the ground. What kind of sick people are these? This is just sickness. And you can see photographs here on the Herald Sun website noted on the news tonight of all these vultures and vipers who've moved in from Clifton Hill and Fitzroy. Sorry, we don't hear If you come from Fitzroy, you're excluded from that. But all these vipers and leeches rallying, protesting about Australia. Well, there's a lot to protest about, isn't there? One of the world's great democracies. One of the best healthcare systems, on and on and on it goes. You don't see too many people erecting barriers to stop Australians immigrating to their countries. Like everyone wants to come here to live. And why would that be? If it's such a terrible place that should be burned to the ground, why do so many people want to come to this brilliant country built on a grand democracy the rule of law, a health system, an education system, hitherto a freedom of speech and opportunity, safe, a safe place to live except for Victoria. Um, <laughs> it wasn't Peter Dutton magnificent the other day, was it? Yeah. it wasn't he magnificent. Absolutely right, Andrew should go, he should hang his head in shame and resign. What a disgrace. What a disgrace that law and order situation we see in Victoria today. He will stop at nothing. And so, Jan, this is an important year for the Liberal Party and for Victoria. We need to rid ourselves of the most left-wing, extreme, zealotry government that we've ever seen, I've seen in my lifetime. Uh, a Premier who is just a fanatic, a left-wing fanatic, whose main interests are uh, helping the UFU beat up decent people like John and others involved in the CFA. I and mean, for goodness sake, where else in the world do you find people who risk their lives for no pay, but organisations like the CFA, eh? Yet they're attacked, they're attacked by this Labor Premier and his ilk. The law and order situation, which as I said, is out of control. A pretty disgusting program to poison the minds of young Australians. I mean, let children be children, for goodness sake, at the schools, right? They need to be kept safe from the safe school program. And generally what we see is a Labor government, the most extreme that we've seen. What Victoria desperately needs is Matthew Guy's Premier. And uh, we're increasingly confident as every day goes by that Matthew Guy and his team and the National Party and Coalition are going to win the election on November 24. We've got outstanding candidates, we've got a very good team, we've got good policies, and we have a shocking government that deserves to be booted out of office and with everyone's help and support. Let's make sure we do that. and. For those present, let's make sure that John and Juno are sitting behind Matthew Guy when he enters Parliament uh, early in December as the Premier of Victoria. Thank you very much. That's a direct order. Do it now. Hi guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. It wasn't Michael Kroger great? Janny was up there speaking, that was fantastic. And a lot of Liberal Party members said, Happy Australia Day! Um, so enjoy your rest of your Australia Day. I hope you enjoyed it. You grabbed a frothy with a mate. Now make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell button if you like this video. Make sure you share it with your friends and I'll speak to you very soon. That's a wrap! <laughs>